Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining. So this is day two of me flying the DJI Air 3 and I have never flown DJI drones before so this is a genuine day two for me. Today I was wanting to uh, try out the AEB feature on photos which is automatic exposure bracketing. I'm familiar with bracketing doing photography in the past uh, but the fact that DJI does it for you automatically, I used to do it manually. I wanted to try it out to see how good it was. Uh, as you can see here, you hit the camera uh, shutter function and it takes five pictures. It takes a low exposure all the way to an overexposed and then you process it uh, on your own um, in a post-processing program like Photoshop or something and I was able to get this. I did not spend a lot of time uh, processing this photo. This was just really quick and I was super pleased. I felt like this was a very vibrant photo. I had a lot of room to play with, um, a lot of room to move the colors around and adjust the colors. So this was super, super incredible to me. The second feature that I wanted to try out was the obstacle avoidance system. There's an update that came out uh, not too long ago for the DJI Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro, I believe. And what it does is it allows you to use the obstacle avoidance sensors as visual cameras. So you can be focusing on your subject, looking through the main camera, flying the drone, and at the same time, as you can see, using the obstacle avoidance systems uh, sensors to see what you're really close to. Um, that way you can adjust. Maybe you can just uh, raise the drone up a little more to go over the obstacle or you're going to have to hit the pause button and stop your, um, your flight altogether. But it's nice that you have this because it gives you more control, makes you more aware of what your drone is doing, where your drone is at. Uh, so this was super cool to me and definitely something that I, I needed to practice with and I think if anyone is new to this you would need to practice with it as, as well get yourself familiar with it you can't test any of this stuff out or at least most of this stuff you can't test out unless the drone is flying for me that made me very nervous because to have this in the air I, I have it in the back of my mind that it's gonna fly away or blow away um, but the more I am flying this the more confident I'm becoming with the technology and how uh, secure that this drone really is. It's very stable. It sticks with you. It does exactly what you tell it to do and it will not do anything else unless you send a command to do it. Uh, not saying that it's impossible for it to fly away. And of course I am flying it in days where there's not heavy wind at all. So that gives me more stability also so if anyone is watching these videos to get an idea of what to expect when you are going to be flying these drones for the very first time um, I would suggest that you just take it very slow uh, it's very easy to fly these drones but just keep them close to you and get very familiar with the functions before you move on to the next function and your confidence will build in these drones as you move on. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for day three.